wonderful moment for every athlete. All nation is watching this final. Last year it was very interesting uh, moment in this weight category. Chekhirkin was second in Paris, lost in final with uh, Serbian and Nemesh. And uh, after a few weeks later, it came out that he was banned because of using some. Uh, medicaments with, which was forbidden and then he was banned for six months and he lost his silver medal so after that Lorish becomes second of last year's world championship there he had bronze but after disqualification of Chikirkin he became silver medalist and now they are competing in final Chikirkin is trying to get back what he lost last year and Lorish has never had before uh, uh, final in world championships. And this is his first try. He is many times Euro champion, but never he become world champion. So now in 77 kilogram at home in Hungary in Budapest, in front of his family and his nation, he is trying to do that. When you look at Alexander for Russia, this is a guy that would be number one in the weight class for probably 70 to 80 percent of the countries out there. It just happens he's in that same wrestling room with one of the more decorated wrestlers in the world. And it is Hungary who goes out in front, passivity the call on Shahirin. It's going to get even noisier over the next few seconds. Opportunity for too much. It's very cool. Oh, he lost his chance. Start. Yeah. Boy, lightning yeah. quick off the whistle for Chihiran. Man, oh man. That was simultaneous. And Lorene's yeah. feeling the effects as he took a shot on the head. I think it happened with his shoes, maybe. Let's see. Wrestling shoes. Tumash feeling the effects, and he is now feeling good right now. Let's Take see. a look. Let's see. No, no, not with, not with wrestling shoes, but what happened with head, maybe. We should see another replay from another side. Yeah, we in this moment, Shikirkin is very good. He is very fast, very unexpected. Ah, but why? No need for challenge. He made a mistake now. Take a look at the elbow right there. Ah, yeah, it that was, right elbow yeah. comes up and caught him right on that left cheekbone. Yeah. And dazed. Now, the interesting part is Hungary is elected to challenge. They want to use that challenge early. Yeah, but it was wrong, I think, because uh, Chekirkin did it not in purpose. It just happened. So they lose challenge at one point. It was mistake from Hungarian to request the ch challenge. Look here. Nothing he did. Warren's still making sure his jawbone is attached. Taking this extra time for the review, and here comes the decision. is the challenge as you anticipated and that ties it up at one. That's a real good exchange. But you're hurrying. Lorenz had lost a very good chance walking on top from Barbara. I mean, the Russian couldn't have timed that whistle any better. Yeah, he did very fast. And nobody failed and nobody was expecting. Yeah, Chikirkin is that style of wrestler. He's trying everything. Nothing you can say, it's his special. He's doing everything. He's trying everything. He's competing here the last second. He has a very big desire of victory. He's 32. 
not so many medals he has in seniors. Once we competed in the Euro Championship final in 2014, there I made the same mistake with the whistle. I lost my hand. I gave him block with my hand, and I lost four points there with two rowings. After all five minutes, I was running behind him. I earned only three, and one was not enough. And if extra maybe 20, 30 minutes, I can earn, but the time was not enough. So I lost there for free with one second for losing my hand with him. And now we see the same. He caught the moment, he stood up, and that moment could be now the victory point. Three minutes in the books, all tied up at one with Russia and Hungary. Vlasov's case, uh, who is usually number one in Russia, look here, yeah, uh, we know that he is a very strong side lift, that we know all, all his opponents knows that, but in case of Chikirkin, we can't say that this is 100% his technique, he is trying everything. Lorenz is still feeling the effects of that elbow, though. You could see him during that whole corner break wincing, but he's going to have to come at and come at for this Russian. Shahirkin is in a position that he was not going to waste. He doesn't get too many of these opportunities, and the 32-year-old has made the most of it for the Russian Federation. Lorenz, if he wants to win, he needs to forget about that moment. What happened? We fell down. Yeah, very active match. Both trying to get activity. Russian will get soon, I think. Opportunity at parterre. Yeah. And referee telling Lorenz to keep that head up, and here comes that passivity call. And Hungary goes down two to one, and Chihirkin a chance on top in the parterre. Let's see if Lorenz can return the favor and get out quickly. Well, he, <laughs> he tried. tried. <laughs> yeah, he tried, but he get caution now. <laughs> he watched his Russian counterpart pull it off beautifully. Now a uh, caution given to the Russian. A little too quick into position. Here we go. The two wrestlers settle in. It's a very important moment. If here now he managed to defend, I mean, Tomas, then he can bring back one point. If he lose any point now, after will be very hard. He started well, very good for him. So about two minutes, it's enough time to earn back one point. Now he needs just one point for gold medal. Let's see how Chikirkin will defend and how Tomas can attack. Tomasz Lorenz, first won a world championship back in 2007. 11 years later, in front of his home nation, a chance to win another. But he's going to need offense in the final 90 seconds. Two to one, Russia with the lead. Oh. Lorenz gets stunned. Down on one knee, comes right back up, though. Back into the offensive position. The Russian just keeps bowling at him. Two to one, Shahirkin on top. Moments away from that one minute mark. Our final minute of nine days of wrestling competition and a nation waits anxiously for it. 60 seconds to go. Very tough match. Chest to chest, head to head, Luke. It's really painy, I can say you. Both doing their best. It's a very important moment. One step back and you can lose gold medal. The Russian corner knows what's at stake. An improbable run of six straight gold medals. Hungary knows what's at stake. A chance for a team medal and to send this crowd into excitement. A frenzy just waiting to explode. Russia doing enough. There won't be a passivity call. It's going to have to be two from Lorenz. Running out of time, 15 seconds to go. Tomasz Lorenz, the 31-year-old, 
searching, trying to find oh. any type of opening. Ah, he's there and he ended up stepping out. 3 1, Shahurkin with the lead. Finish. Tumash back in, and it's not in the cards for Hungary, but boy, it's been in the cards for Russia. Six for six. Incredible for the Russian Federation. Oh, what a moment. But congratulations also to Chikiki, 32 years old. Such a chance to fight in the national team of Russia, where he is. Roman Blasov is an opponent, and one chance and one goal. Great job for him. Yeah, he lost a good moment. I mean, Tomas. And what about the perseverance of the Russian? I mean, just beyond the last couple of days, as we talked about...